We want education! We want education! Not incarceration! Not incarceration! Push out affects a lot of young people of color, especially young men of color. After being suspended for minor issues that can easily be solved via a conversation, um, students are suspended from school for days at a time where they don't get the work that they need, um, which puts them behind in their classes, which also can keep them back a grade. So students end up dropping out of school because you know they just feel like it's not an environment that they really want to be in when any little thing that they do that goes wrong can lead to being suspended or being expelled. In my, uh, my community and my schools is that they're just pushing them out. They're not getting to the root cause. They're not solving any problem. And all they're doing is sending them to a school pipeline that's like, like they send them out they go in prison, they go to jail or whatever, and then they come back and they gotta go back right through that same process because they don't fix anything. In the 10th grade, three weeks before the end of school, my school finally gave up on me. The path that expulsion from my school set me on led me to, to dark places. That place was homelessness, desperation, and eventually a one-way ticket to LA County Jail. One in six black students, one in 14 Latino students, and one in 10 students with disabilities in the United States are suspended from school. I've had the experience that a student jumped onto a desk four feet high, jumped off of the desk, which called attention to me because he jumped off of my desk and I got attention for it. For my daughter, um, she knows she's not in a safe environment in school as a biracial person. Uh, she was feeling more and more targeted by staff as well as students, and, uh, but she also knew she has a mother who was an advocate and would stand up for her and all children, and she also learned her rights as a student and my rights as a parent, so she learned from me as a role model, so she had some hope, but she always knew that she would be um, targeted. We're holding hands like my peers. I was told by my vice principal, why do you need to show the world? With detention after detention and countless Saturday schools for being willfully defiant, I was getting in so much trouble that my vice principal would bring a yardstick to measure the distance between my girlfriend and I standing next to each other. For nearly all of us who have been locked up, or have family members who have been locked up, our push into the system started with our push out of school. In the communities of color, Current school construction and security policies create schools that look and act more and more like prisons. My school campus has really big gray fences and two, two police officers patrolling at all times and then two police officers in the front and then like three cop cars um, in the front of school. What do we want to change as parents and also as dignity in the school? What do we want to change from the system? Mejor educación para todos, menos racismo, menos uh, alumnos en las cárceles. What is needed to transform our schools to protect human rights to education and dignity? We need our school districts to work together with communities at large to reduce all forms of exclusionary discipline and to replace them with positive practices that support students, teachers, and all members of the school community. We need to change policies. We need to get more restorative practices, more counseling, more psychologists, more support for youth, rather than keep criminalizing them. How can we build a stronger sense of community in our schools? In cities and states across the country will be working with their principals, superintendents, and legislators to see commitments to stop out-of-school suspensions and punitive discipline practices and policies and to implement alternatives 
laid out in a model code. I think restorative justice circles are a great, a great model to build that sense of community in the school and listening to each other in a more like equal level and recognizing each other's story, each other's background, wherever each of us we are coming from. I will make, I think, a better community environment in the school. Restorative justice helps, it works. You talk, I mean, you, you get into the cause and effect of our problems instead of, um, instead of uh, suspensions and expulsions. Restorative justice is a way for you to like just and push forward and like figure out what's the cause and what's the root cause and how can we like move to the next level and like hold a student accountable for their actions. I believe that the only uh, sustainable way to build community is through relationships. I strongly believe that once adults really engage with youth and um, wanting to have those meaningful relationships, I think that the youth will respond back and wanted to have to engage in their community as well. I definitely believe that young people have to be at the center of education, of every conversation in regards to education. We don't want any police, we want justice for all, for one, and we just need that support. We want that support and that love that we need from each other. We want solutions, not suspensions, and we will push back on push out as dignity in schools. No young person should be deprived of the essential tools and skills that they need to succeed in our society. We want college prep, not prison prep. We need education, not incarceration. Dignity! Dignity.